So I just started reading a book about Napoleon, <clears throat> and uh, by the time he was 26, he was the general of the forces in Italy and was making a name for himself back home in France. 26. By the time he was 27, he was a national hero and basically had control of the army and, and as a result had great influence in Italy. Oh, by the way, I'm doing this video in front of my chess set. I figured uh, what better uh, venue than to talk about Napoleon. Anyway, <clears throat> the thought that I had is that today in our society, we force children, young adults, adolescents, <clears throat> to delay their abilities. Why? I don't know. Probably because older people want to retain power. The unique thing about Napoleon was that he had they had just gone through the, the uh, French Revolution, and so there was a great distrust of the older established order. So the king and, and all the courtiers that were older in age were no longer in power. It was a young people's movement. So I suppose that that helped Napoleon quite a bit. But in our society, education, uh, well, for one thing, education is delayed. We make students take history four or five times. Um, why don't we let them have an education where it ends at an earlier point in time so they can move on with their careers? We don't encourage them to take risks and to develop their own abilities. We delay their progress by making them go to high school and then to college where they learn the same things over and over again. Um, I think we've created a society where we disincentivize our youth and in some ways uh, make them believe that they don't have the ability to do great things at an early age. And um, that's my thought for the day.